Chernobyl nuclear power station in Ukraine is less than 100 miles from Mazarichi. The Pripyat River flows through the nearby town of Mazir and continues southwest past Chernobyl. In April 1986, Reactor 4 blew up, throwing tons of radioactive material into the air as it continued to burn uncontrolled for 10 days. A plume of radioactive particles spread northwest. Its effects were detected as far away as Sweden and Wales, but 70% of the contamination fell on the country of Belarus. Radiation is emitted as these heavy metal particles decay. This contamination is invisible, but it makes the environment radioactive. Some of the plutonium particles have half-lives of many thousands of years. This means the level of their radioactivity will reduce by half in this time. In practical terms, it's here to stay. The area nearest to Chernobyl was evacuated due to the risk to health because of the dangerously high levels of radiation, and it remains abandoned. This area is officially called the Radiation Ecological Forest Reserve. It's also known as the Wolves' Land. Outside the exclusion zone, there are hot spots of high contamination amidst areas considered low enough for people to live. After the Chernobyl disaster, over half a million people had to be resettled, which has resulted in immense poverty within the towns and villages. The Chernobyl Children Lifeline have been bringing over children from the Chernobyl area for many, many years, suffering from the effects of radiation as a result of the dreadful accident that happened at the Chernobyl nuclear plant, which released more radiation into the air than has ever been known before. And what actually happened on the 26th of April 1986 was an experiment to see if the plant could operate on low level power from their own production should the main electricity supply fail. Unfortunately, this went tragically wrong and we now all know the results of that evening. And what we do is bring children over from that contaminated area over to Britain for a month, which helps to put their immune systems the same as ours are now. And by coming over for the month and eating our food, which is uncontaminated, our milk, our meat, and vegetables, and fruit, all uncontaminated, helps to put their health back as it should be. And what we do, we bring 20 children over to the Burton and Trent and Derby area. We find host families for them. We put them into a host family for two weeks. And then we swap that host family to another one for another two weeks because we find that people will put their lives on hold and help these children for two weeks sooner than have them for the month and that's a difficult task to undertake. And we also, by legislation, have to get these children together twice a week. So instead of just having meetings or just getting them together, we organise trips out for them, such as Drayton Manor Park, Snibson Discovery Centre, Conkers, Burton Albion for a football match, the fire station at Derby. McDonald's are also very good to us, as was Kreitz Tramway Museum this year. And by doing all of these events together helps to bring the social group as a one. And we enjoy doing this. We pick the children up from Gatwick, we fly them over and pick them up and bring them back to Repton, to Repton School where the host families meet them on the first day and then they'll take them away to their homes and then the next day we go around to make sure that all of the children are okay, there are no social issues, that the children understand what's expected of them and also the host families are happy with the situation. <clears throat> we also take these children to have their eyes tested at Specsavers at Derby and also take them to the dentist and this particular year they went to Tutbury Road Dental Practice and we had out of the 20 children and two interpreters we had nine that needed dental 
uh, surgery and um, extractions and fillings and we went then to Specsavers the next week and we had 10 children that actually needed glasses and both the dentist and Specsavers do this free of charge and are very very supportive to us and also on the change every day which is the middle weekend if you like on the Sunday we were so fortunate to be able to have a barbecue at the Golden Cup at Yoxall by Barton under Needwood and they actually organized soccer events for the boys and beauty things for the girls and a great day was had by all and they even put on a pig roast for us which was well received by all as all the host families came together and towards the end of the trip obviously by now we know the children and we organized what's called a leaving party at Waterside Community Centre and the children there then go and put on a show which we invite all the people that have helped us the Mayor of Burton was there the Chairman of South Derbyshire Council was there and the children put this show on and entertain us all and we have a super super time there The legacy that we've been left with as a result of this terrible tragedy over in Chernobyl is that radiation is 40 times the permissible levels. Thyroid cancer has risen 3,000% and it is estimated that 40,000 children will contract thyroid cancer over the next 20 years and an 800% increase in cancers in children living near the plant quite a legacy and as a last final word thank you to all of our wonderful host families that have helped this year and our committee that have worked tirelessly all the year round and for all the past years that we've been able to bring the children over thank you for our supporters that have been able to organize the trips and the various outings for the children and we hope to continue this into the future by bringing these children over to the Derby and Burton area.